one big thing, one out of three of the big things for me is just a comfort in myself and no longer holding on to these assumed, you know, perceptions that I believe are out there. Because I do not need to be on all the time. And it is okay. It is not only okay, I don't have to try so hard. And just being comfortable with, I made it and I'm here for a reason. I have value to add. And it does not have to be every single second of every single conversation. When I started this coaching uh, class, I started really paying attention to other people in, in my circles to see how they speak, right? And I would like look at them like really, really closely. And I was like, in my mind, I don't know why I had the idea like everyone else was better than myself, like than me, right? But then I realized like, that's not right. Like I'm good too. And I'm working on be- being better every day. So I'm going to be better. And I think you are like, you think in your head that you're not, you know, as good, but you are believe in yourself. That's it. And that has helped me so much. That has given me like so much confidence because I know if I practice and I just like, you know, work on these skills, I'm going to be like better than like my whole team. Like I know I'm going to get there. And, you know, a theme that just ran through everything that you all just shared was this sense of moving away from approval and moving into alignment. Mm-hmm. That's really the biggest goal of, of these skills that rather than just going into a situation on autopilot, a situation especially that would bring up some of those hormones like adrenaline and cortisol that might cause you to really fight or flee from the situation and lean into approval to stay safe. Now we have this way of staying in alignment to not only stay safe, but it's to stay centered, to stay empowered, to stay honest. So just keep thinking about that. Alignment over approval.